Ready for football now on a sunny Florida afternoon. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. Oh, boy, you ain't got and no he heat. will score. Touchdown. It's live and free for anybody. No doubt about it. When you say free, that means he's got free reign to pick it up and go. That's exactly what happened there. Took it in for a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Takes it at the 7. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by their veteran quarterback, a multiple-time Super Bowl champ. It's Ben Roethlisberger. We talk so often about his physical attributes. Of course, the Big Ben nickname, his ability to take hits in the pocket, his ability to extend plays and get outside of the pocket. But how about this for efficiency? A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 26, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now with excellent field position to start things out. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation, that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. It was really sudden after the first play picked off. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. First carry for a Miami native. This is Dalvin Cook. And he is gonna be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. It's off by Deion Sanders. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than... That's caught inside the 20. They are not ready for the way in for a Miami touchdown. A.J. Brown, 53 yards. And the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. First down and 10. At their own 
Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They start the drive with Cook. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. A 49er great Patrick Willis in on the tackle. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Man, and all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On third down, Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions. And now it's looking like none on this one either. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And take it right on the 30. It'll be a 45-yard punt and couple that with a loss on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Miami set to take over. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the that's last true. time. That's I mean, that's Under pressure and down he goes. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. Back at the 14-yard line. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Brings up third down and 17. Out of the gun now on third down. Going up top. And the throw there going to be incomplete. It's now fourth down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it here. They got a man. It's Woods. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They go play action here on first down. Can't get away, and he's taken down. They can't stop Bruce Irvin there as he slips in for the sack. Back at the 36-yard line. Second and long. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. A gain there of 21 yards. We know he has pretty good hands on display there. In fact, he only needed one of them. Yeah, and nowadays, all these receivers work on this, right? They do the one-handed catches off the machine in practice. They do it with their quarterbacks. They do it contested, uncontested. They make it part of their repertoire. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Kevin Jackson, 42 yards. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide. 
points, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball, because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. And it is now 21 to nothing. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And now out comes Houston. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You know, and last time I looked, the start of the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. Third down here. Now Cook. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Calvin Johnson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins head on to their lead. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Bass on for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. A drive there of just four plays, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Getting set to go again, Ben Roethlisberger marches onto the field. The second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself, and maybe you have to display. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. The job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. 
Final play of the half. It's Roethlisberger. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from our quarterback. His three touchdown passes have his guys out in front as we hand things back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And they're going to have lousy starting field position as he's out of bounds at his six-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And he's been magnificent as we start to roll on all these touchdown passes he's had so far. It's been fun to watch. It's been almost poetic, hasn't it? Captain, my captain. And this captain is playing so well and leading his team. As you mentioned, the great number of touchdown passes. He's looking really, really sharp. Now maybe he just wants to add to that total, right? And why not? More the merrier. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for Miami. 49 yards. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running through the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time. That'll bring up second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. They'll look to throw again. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That third down conversion, good for 23. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get... And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. And this offense continues to pour it on. I can't believe I'm saying this. But in today's NFL, I wouldn't want to play defense. Too many great receivers and guys who are accurate who can get them the ball. We've seen the result. Days like this one. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. from the six and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 they'll take over first down and and now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half and here we are almost through three quarters of play and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet and in today's nfl where it's a pass first league that is quite surprising not many teams patient enough to stick with the run everybody wants to advance the ball through the air they've got to get their timing back no gain on the screen there it's second down well, that was a simple throw and catch but even with that completion zero yards gained so they're behind schedule on down and distance i think they were hoping to get it to him he could make a man or two miss but that window closed quickly third quarter from miami this is second and ten out of the gun it's roethlisberger and this one incomplete. 
too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for Houston. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Taken in at the 22. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He has been on his A game. We're in the third quarter. He's already in search of touchdown pass number five. He's played so well that it's hard for me to take my eyes off of him, even when he's not on the field. And got his man complete. Oh, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A.J. Brown, 87 yards. And the Dolphins just continue to pour it on. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Houston set to take over. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. This is brought in at the 21. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. Oh, boy, you ain't got no feet. Miami Dolphins are into the end zone. That's the way to make an impression. Return one for a touchdown. Right, welcome to the party. We saw him fielding those punts before the game, and he was had a little bit of a look in his eye, didn't he? He did. He was a confident young man, and now we know why. lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Well, we know he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department, and he showcases it there all the way back for six. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. This will be fielded inside the five, and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. 
They'll take over. First down and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many bad. He's going to be taken down. They sack him on what will be the final play of quarter number three. Back now in Miami. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Another try after the first down sack. Roethlisberger. And that'll be incomplete. A pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The offense on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and forever. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes, no points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. Two yard punt, six on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense with this lead and the football. Things obviously looking good, but maybe you know, you've taught me this before. Maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them, protect them, take care of the ball, move it downfield, run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. This one complete to his fullback down the backfield. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. Do you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Complete. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now. Than I and this will be caught. And the continues. It's another touchdown. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it to the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Tyler Bass now for the point after. was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Out 
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Second and ten now. It's Roethlisberger. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. 50-yard line. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. And it's third and short. Third down. And one yard to go. From midfield now, here's Roethlisberger. And Big Ben intercepted a third time. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. That's going to set him back five yards. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now, first and 15 following the delay of game. Going to give this time to the tailback. Nice job there getting the win. Next up, another challenge, of course. Gunners, nothing. 